Hi there, Whiskey7 Radio Lima Foxtrot here, Ryan Flowers, with a quick video on my dual band antenna here. And um, I've posted about this before, but I thought I'd go into some detail about it. What I have here is a camera tripod, and that camera tripod is connected via zip tie to a 10 foot pole that I got on eBay for, ten, or sorry, a, sorry, 23 foot pole I got on eBay for $10. And it goes up, 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 up to a simple uh, antenna, like a connector up there with using uh, uh, banana plugs. And um, using the, the wires just screw down into the banana plugs. I'm using the, the uh, clamp part of it. And I've got two wires, or two antennas really. Got one, the longer one being for 40 meters, goes down to the fence there. And and over toward that little uh, box over there, uh, attaching to that roof line. And then the 20 meter also comes down, and they call it a fan dipole. You can see why. But uh, I was rather surprised by the performance of it. Um, you being so low to the ground, you'd think I wouldn't get any DX, but I've actually worked uh, Australia and Japan on the FT8 on 40. So it really does work. And I thought I'd show you the SWR of this thing. Got a antenna analyzer here. And let's see. So on 7 megahertz, 40 meters, you can see it's resonant right at 7 megahertz and uh, up to 7.3, 1.7 SWR. But what's surprising is the uh, performance on other bands. Uh, so it even gives me a little bit on 80, which I was quite surprised by. Uh, this is totally tunable. Um, SWR, SWR of 1.6 on 3.9 megahertz. That's pretty amazing. I'm not sure why it's getting that. It doesn't seem like it should, but it works. Um, the impedance is not too bad and could totally use that. Uh, well, I've got an antenna tuner as well. Um, wanted to get down into the areas where digital stuff is. It's still not you know below two, which is pretty good. So go up uh, seven megahertz. We know that works. But um, see, here's 24 megahertz. Tunable, not real great, but tunable. Down to 20 megahertz, pretty nice. And 18 is tunable, but not great. Uh, but of course, it's designed for 14 and uh, does real nice between uh, across the whole 14, the uh, whole 20 meter band. Anyway, sorry for the shakiness of the video. I just thought I'd show this to you guys and uh, get your ideas on how I could improve it and show you what I did. This whole thing cost me, I don't know, less than $20. Uh, I already had the uh, broken camera tripod. So, you know, hunt around for some bargains and. And uh, you can have this. I mean, the, the wire is uh, salvaged. The 40 meter is salvaged. The the uh, 20 meter I bought, 100 foot spool on eBay for or on Amazon for 10 bucks. I really could use that for the entire antenna, I think. But the other wire is salvaged from old Ethernet cables, believe it or not. Anyway, oh, and uh, an important note: holding it down here, <laughs> it gets windy. And so holding it down here is a couple gallons of zip tied water. I've got that zip tied there uh, to the tripod, so uh, that keeps it pretty, pretty, pretty grounded. <laughs> yeah, gravity speaking, not electrically speaking. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you the antenna. Hope you have a great day in '73.